hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is lynn and i'm here to show you my classic john paul gaultier classic collection i have six of them and i'm gonna show you one by one and let's start with the perfumer john paul gaultier so john paul gaultier is a french fashion house and he is known for making uh, peculiar bottles if you can remember i made a video about scandal two days ago and it's also created by john paul gaultier so same designer same perfume house and the the bottles have those legs on their cup so there this is their classic version which is the 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 body of a woman is the the shape of the bottle they have also the limal and the ultramal edition which is the body of a man that is for masculine uh, perfume so i have been a fan of uh, john paul gaultier fragrances for a while now because he's even though it's designer the performance is really good and the scent is unique and classic is one of them that i'm really crazy about i want to collect them too but uh, as of now i only have uh, six let's start with the very first perfume he created which is the classic edt or the ud toilet so the edt was uh, launched in 1993 and the perfumer is jack cavalier this is considered as an amber floral perfume so the top notes is orange blossom followed by the ginger and vanilla so this is uh, has a very strong orange blossom scent uh, initial spray it's right away orange blossom then the ginger and it then it dries down to a powdery vanilla uh, this is a very strong perfume a very good performer it has a very strong silage and it can fill up a room if you over spray it and the longevity is about six to eight hours it's supposed to be edt it's lighter but it acts like an edp now i will consider this as a signature perfume because you can use it throughout the year and you can also use it during the day and then can also be your uh, during the night as a date perfume now in the same year they all they launched the edp version or the ud toilet uh, sorry ud perfume so this has the lace corset and this has the frosted corset now this was launched in the same year 1993 and the perfumer is also the same which is a uh, uh, jack cavalier but the top notes are rose and rum and the middle notes are vanilla orchid and narcissus base notes are vanilla amber tonka bean and sandalwood so in the initial opening i can smell a strong rose not much of the rum I, I don't consider this as a boozy perfume because i don't smell rum i smell rose followed by some florals and then it dried down to an amber vanilla so this the ud toilet is um, dries down to a powdery vanilla this one dries it becomes uh, soapy after a while the dry down is kind of soapy amber vanilla perfume the silage is uh, less strong compared to the edt so even though this has a stronger uh, formulation because it's an ud perfume it is uh, less light less silage and less longevity than the edt it it will last only six hours on my skin and the silage of the projection is about at the arm's length or two feet this is already discontinued and you won't find this anymore in the website because in 2017 they released another edp version so this is the red corset this was launched in 2017 and the same perfumer jack cavalier 
So they have basically the same notes except in the opening they added the uh, Sicilian mandarin. Now when I spray this, I smell the rum more than the rose. Compared here, I smell rose. I don't smell any rum. This is a uh, smell rum in the opening, but not 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 for a long while. It is quickly overtaken by the orchid, the florals, and then it also dries down soapy, soapy vanilla. Now this one is less strong than the than the original EDP. The silage is very soft, and it only lasts for four to six hours. Some people they don't like this. They prepare the older formulation, and this you can still find it in the discounters and some resellers like marketplace ebay or kichiji if you find this grab this instead of this because this is a lot this is stronger than than the red corset the red corset is still available in their website in the uh, john pogotier website and the edt is also available but they release a limited edition pride classic so i will show you in the, uh, the picture of the pride uh, classic um john paul Gaultier wants to release a lot of flankers on classic like every year he has a lim limited division limited edition bottles but most of the time same scent um this both of these are considered as a signature scent too you can use it throughout the year but it's only a daytime perfume as i will not use this at night because it's considered it as very light for a nighttime perfume and um, aside from these three in 2014 here is the classic intense so this one is a different perfumer. This was uh, created by Francis Craig John, my favorite perfumer. And uh, the top notes here is Thierry Flower and Pomegranate, mid notes Orange Blossom, Jasmine and Rose, base notes are Vanilla and Patchouli. Out of all the classic, this has the strong Orange Blossom scent. And this is my favorite because I love orange blossom. But when you spray it, initial spray, you will smell the fruitiness of the pomegranate. And then maybe 15 minutes, 15 seconds or 30 seconds, it, orange blossom will hit you in the face. Like very strong orange blossom. Some hints of jasmine and rose. And then it dries down to a very sweet vanilla perfume. Now this is uh, powdery powdery vanilla this is kind of soapy and the dry down and this is like a sweet vanilla so this uh, this is uh, so sweet but not cloyingly sweet it's not syrupy sweet so it's not headache inducing it is just sweet and this is a sexy and intoxicating scent and can be used as a date night perfume you can use it also during the day but then you can amp up your sprays and make it as a date night perfume it can also be an all year round perfume all seasons maybe just put less spray during the spring and summer because it's that strong it will fill up a room and it lasts more than eight hours i use this today and i spray it probably eight o'clock in the morning and now it's already past two o'clock and i can still smell it on myself so sometimes it, uh, it it will last you all day you don't have to reapply this is also discontinued i'm so sad when this is discontinued i have another bottle actually this is my backup bottle i have another one that i'm using that's why you can see it's still full but I don't want to show it. I, I want to show the full one. I found this as a tester in Marketplace. And I grab it right away. Whenever I will see something like this in Marketplace or in discounter like fragrance 
fragrance net fragrance x or fragrance buy i will buy it because this is so good if you love orange blossom this will be a perfume to buy um it is similar to elisa perfume in white same perfumer francis kirk jan actually all the elisa Le perfume is also orange blossom heavy and same perfumer francis kirk jan that's why i love those I love I have Elisa in white as well as the intense and the le perfume. They are very orange blossom dominant perfume. In 2016 he released this uh, classic essence the perfume. This uh, the perfumer is uh, Okay, who is the perfumer here? The perfumer is Daphne Bougay. And the top nose is tangerine and ginger. Mid nose is orange blossom again and jasmine. Base nose are whipped cream and vanilla. So this is uh, the opening is all of these are orange blossom, right? The, the, the toilet, the intense and this orange blossom. But the opening here is very spicy because of the ginger. But it's sweetened by the tangerine. So tangerine and ginger, very nice combination in the in the top, and then orange blossom will smack you again in the face with some jasmine, and then it dries down to a very very uh, woody, sweet vanilla and whipped cream. This is so good. This is also another one that is my favorite. Um, same vibe as the uh, cover of. Uh, this is same vibe as the intense and the cabaret, which I will show next. And um, this is also a very sexy and intoxicating perfume, and also can be used as a date night scent because it's that strong and it's that's good. The silage is also same as the intense; is very strong. It can fill up the room, and longevity is eight hours or more. And this is also sad to say discontinued um, if I can also find this I'll grab another bottle because also my favorite then in 2019 this is the classic cabaret so all of these are considered amber floral and the perfumer for cabaret is I think the same, Jacques Cavalier. No, it's Fabrice, Fabrice Pellegrin. So this one, the top notes is ginger. Middle notes is a, uh, orange blossom. And then the base notes are marshmallow and vanilla. So this has the marshmallow. And, well, this has the, the whipped cream. Oh, I forgot to mention the intense one is the only one that has a patchouli though I cannot detect any patchouli. The dry down is a very sweet orange blossom and vanilla. I can smell patchouli in there. This is very spicy in the opening because the ginger is the top notes. Unlike this one, it has tangerine, right? Tangerine and ginger is the opening. So it's a bit uh, sweet and spicy. But this is very spicy in the opening because of the ginger. But then orange blossom again. Right away, orange blossom will hit you in the face. It's so strong. And then it dries down to a powdery uh, marshmallow and vanilla. So it dries down to a powdery like the Edith you Toilet. This dry down as woody and this dry down as a sweet sweet vanilla this is also considered i consider this as, as a sexy date night perfume and you can use this at, as night and day and all year round and sad to say this is also discontinued i don't know why they discontinued all the good scents so all of this this four they are all discontinued and it's hard to find nowadays the cabaret especially is hard to find as well the intense this one um, this one you can still find it in fragrance buy or fragrance net and I think shoppers drug mart this one is also hard to find now these are 
these four is a heavy orange blossom and this is like rose and uh, rum um, I had to, to to rank it if I have to rank it I will have the intense as my number one because out of all the six this has the strongest orange blossom and the best perform performing classic the second place is a hard for me because I couldn't decide if it's cabaret or the or the essence but after a while I decided cabaret because of that delicious marshmallow note and also uh, the spicy ginger and then followed by the orange blossom combination is so unique and intoxicating my fourth one will be the original the classic UD toilet this is also good but it's not as strong as these three the fifth one will be the original EDP and then the last one will be the EDT as you can see I also rank it from the strongest to the least to the least strong so for me on my skin and personally the intense is the strongest and then the this one the EDP is the weakest now the this formulation this three is EDP formulation out of them all the this one the classic EDT is the only EDT formulation now as I said before um, Dan Paul Gautier also releases a lot of plankers for this there are probably 30 to 40 different classic with the different bottles limited edition but basically same juice I think the only one that has a little a lit, a different juice is the Upress 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 and the pin up so I've been looking for that pin up for a, for a while I couldn't find it once I see something uh, I see in fragrance buy or in marketplace I'll buy it for sure um, so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit uh, like to subscribe and to share this video I'll see you on my next video bye bye thank you